or soon suffer the consequences of your actions. I don't like that it words it that way. I'll tell you this. You made the best choice. Where'd, your, where'd you find his last hint? Um, I got... Let's see. Hold on. Let me look through his hints. Uh, here. Um, I think one was in a letter. And then one was from... one. I think one of the ladies outside. One of uh, these two, I think. Well, see, like the blue ones, I feel like I earned the blue ones. It's like you did something to get there, so you might as well take it. But it didn't. I feel like it didn't work super well. Oh, what's happening out here, guys? Also, do I need to talk to him again? Hold on, let me see if I need to talk to him again. Oh, I can't talk to him again. You never found the letter. Oh, okay, that might be why. Yeah, I just, I, I think, I think it was right over Someone here, actually, maybe on this table or something. Game. What is I know that? this brooch. This is my mother's. A birthday gift. Oh, so you only had spare kill. Okay, that made it easy for you. I only had, you know, I had another option that was really throwing me off. 29 Pretty Orchard Street. That's near Park Pretty Estate. Orchard Street. Aww. Why would this man carry off my mother's brooch? I must go there. Okay, let's... Old brooch. Let's chat with some people, see if they give me some yeah, new stuff. You again, Mr. Reed. Dead man's wallet. Um... Did you see what happened? No. I was coming back to the shelter from work when I heard an awful scream and there was this man dead just in front of the building. You saw nothing at all? No. I told you, just that awful woman's scream. A woman's scream? Are you sure? Of course. It was terrifying. I thought it was my sister, so I ran. But it was a man I've never seen round here before. Okay. Goodbye. You again. Uh, let's see if I got anything new for you. Oh, I do. Giselle, I know you sleep at Sean Hampton's shelter. What can you tell me about him? He provided a roof for me and my sister. I am grateful, of course. But he gives me the creeps. Why is that? He's always sad. Like he's about to cry. He's always asking us to get closer to God. To give ourselves to the Lord. Mm, creepy. Kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> it's creepy. Did you see what just happened? No, I didn't. And I don't care. Really? Why is that? Because this sexist pig is one of the four men who blacklisted me. Good riddance, if you ask me. Well, I'll leave you for now. Good evening, Mr. Throgmorton. Dr. Reed, can I be of any assistance? Have you noticed anything suspicious lately? Uh, well, I mean, that I'm going to tell you about? No. Did you see what happened to him? Actually, yes. He was thrown from the roof like a vulgar log. Thrown from the roof? Why is it that you sound so afraid? You didn't see it. He was dead before he hit the ground. The strength required to do such a thing, well, it beggars belief. Hmm. Who could have done that? Who? Well, a vampire, of course. Oh, jeez. Look, bite marks on the neck and lacerations here. There is definitely a vampire close by. <laughs> no. Goodbye. No, there's not? Uh, all right, so we have some stuff at the hospital. Uh, what are these? Dr. Swansea, new dialogue available, and I'm going to guess, uh, what's her name? Lady Ashbury. Okay. But this is along the way, so we'll probably head there. Locate the man's flat in the burrow. Search the flat. Okay. That being said, do I have any other missions I need to turn in here? Okay, well, they're all done. Sweet. All done. Uh, report to Father Whitaker. Oh, this guy? 
this is the guy you don't like? You think he's creepy? He is pretty creepy. I do need to talk to him again. Uh, I need to wait for her to go back. Find something we can read Braille. This one's proving to be a challenge. Because it doesn't have a spot. Oh, wait. Yeah, it does. Oh, no. That's where he is. Hmm. Well, anyway, I'll keep that mission on and... Okay. We'll figure, we'll figure some stuff out. I unlocked this door, right? Yeah. <gasps> There's mice over here. This is despicable. I can't believe I'm yeah, doing we'll this. We'll just refill our blood a little bit since we're here. This Perfect. Despicable. Alright, is this the way I need to go? It is the way I need to go. Wait. North Dock. This isn't the way I need to go. This isn't the way. I need to go that way. Um, oh, maybe I'm going the wrong way. Hold on. I do have to go that way. Never mind. Okay, and I think I need to go through here then. Oh, I hear some. Hear some scares. Okay, we need to go through here. All right, I already kind of cleared out some of this area. On accident. Okay. I think I know where to go then. Ahead. Okay. Yeah, because there was a spot up here that I stopped going forward. Yep, there, there's the guys. Okay. Because I saw these guys and was like, eh, I don't want to fight them. Dodge. Alright, start looting all the stuff. Okay, we're close to whatever it is we're going to. It must be right there. But before we get there... Loot some stuff, and we'll be good. Okay, here we are. 29 Pretty Orchard Street. This Pretty is Orchard. What's in there for me? Follow been the a fight blood here. trail. Just gotta, you know, rob them blind, just in case. Before we leave, what all do you have in this house that I can just borrow? Totally not take forever. Okay. Just stealing everything that I can. 
Every little thing. It's like, yep, take it, take it, take it. Well, that's how you make the uh, medicines and stuff, so. Uh, there's a dude there. Okay, looks like we don't have to go that way. Go back home, idiots! Oh, nice shot. Also, I'm dying. I'm just gonna steal your blood and stuff. Thank you. So much blood. Whoever was killed got dried out. Where? Oh, I'm seeing from the. Okay, I get it. Are we? Oh, okay. That gets me back over to the. Oh, wait. The hospital's right here. Can I? I can't warp across. Really? I was kind of hoping to warp across, do some stuff, and then come back. But all right. Oh, you guys could really hear that? I'm honestly shocked. affected by that more. Oh, I gotta heal, gotta heal, gotta heal! Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, he took all my blood. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Whew! We got low! How did we get low? Okay, still other stuff. Uh, you can further down. Okay, let me try. Because it says I have new talking points with a couple people back at the hospital. Is it from the... Oh, from the boat. Okay. Oh. Oh, we got a little spy thing here. From here. Sometimes you act like a real jerk, you know that. Oh, come on, Ozzy, don't be like that. What, like what? Like someone who felt betrayed by the man he loves. Aw, they, they love each other. Rescue me. No, it's not like that. I wanted to. I was so afraid to leave the hospital. I want to be seen with you. We survived this shit together. That's all that matters. I know you did your best. <gasps> Aww. They love each other. Fuck the wall. I, and, and fuck them all. Fuck the wall. Fuck them all. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Newton and Oswald Thatcher are in love with each other. Oswald, Newton, Blight are in love with each other. 
Aw, you two are cute. How do I get in there? I cannot enter. Huh. Can't get in there right now. It's weird. Alright, I need to talk to Lady Ashbury and Dr. Swansea. You don't have anything new, do you? I doubt it. I'll leave. Alright. I did get something new for one of the people in here. Good evening. Good evening. I don't remember who it was. Oh, it actually might have been you. Good evening, Milton. No, not Good Milton. Evening, I don't care about Milton. To... No! Good. Not Milton. Good evening. Doctor with... Dr. Tippett's. Nurse Brannigan has been recently accused of neglecting her professional duties. Tell me what you really think about it. This kind of protest is nothing but elitist bullshit. I trust Nurse Brannigan with my life. She has what it takes to be a great doctor. Do you really think she could be the next Elizabeth Blackwell? Believe me, Dr. Reed, a time will come when skill and skill alone will determine who can be a physician and who cannot. He right. I know you're taking drugs, Corcoran. Why take such a risk? I need it to endure the long shift. We have no idea how long the epidemic will last. We can't let it win. Uh... I understand the gesture, Doctor. An immediate answer to an emergency situation. But this can't be a long-term solution. Thank you for your understanding, my dear colleague. And be assured, I have total control of my consumption. <laughs> Goodbye. Says every drug addict ever. Okay, that was the guy I needed to talk to. Lady Ashbury, where are you? There you are. What new stuff do you have? It is good to see you again. I'm better than one might expect, Lady Ashbury. Dr. Swansea has asked me to investigate the recent disturbances in the hospital caused by scums. Really? What do you mean? I discovered the most intriguing scowl. An elderly woman answering to the name of old Bridget, and a man who helps them remain hidden in London. Old Bridget? Peculiar name. I've never heard of her. According to old Bridget, Scowls can lead a peaceful existence like us. They are even able to nourish themselves by feeding on corpses and the flesh of the dead. How vile. Please, Jonathan, let's change the subject. I mean, at least they're not hurting anyone from what they eat. Scowls of London have gone into hiding. Both mortals and immortals plot their extermination. Yes. Scowls are the orphans of the vampire society. They are the shame of their genitors. A disgrace to the vampire that created them. There is something ominous closing around me, Lady Ashbury. Something spies upon me from the shadows. Something cruel and wicked. Whatever do you mean, Jonathan? If Sean Hampton and Harriet were not the guilty parties, then who? I saw the bodies and the blood. Your rebirth has not gone unnoticed, Jonathan. Be extremely careful. If you get in the way of an immortal's plans... Do you suspect someone? I don't know, Jonathan. I steer clear of vampire politics, especially whilst hunters roam the city's streets. Hmm. Goodbye for now. Okay, so she had stuff. Swansea's got some stuff to talk to him about. Then we can move on. I mean, I could rest to evolve, but resting, even though it does heal people, it does also make more people sick. So, kind of getting to the point where I might need to. There you are. I might need to do that. Jonathan, at last. I've been worried sick. Have you solved the case of our poor Sean Hampton? Don't worry, Edgar. The reputation of Pembroke Hospital is secure. 
Sean Hampton was not the guilty party. Is that true? Oh, good news. Good news indeed. Uh, okay. What do you know of the Ascalon Club? Uh, not as much as I would like. There have always been rumors about a secret society of vampires operating in the interests of the British Empire. Though I've never met a member. I crossed paths with one. A terrifying creature going by the name of Fergal. He was sent by the Ascalon Club to exterminate the scowls of the East End. By the stole, Jonathan. If vampires are eliminating their own progeny, then dark times are upon us. Darker than I've ever witnessed. Do you think Lady Ashbury would know? Jonathan, our beloved lady is not one for social dalliances, nor the assemblies of dark orders. She's a woman of superior taste and selective acquaintance. Does the name Old Bridget ring any bells? Hmm, I'd never heard of her. Why? A patient of ours? I ah, must confess, nope. I don't know them all. No, it's just someone you don't know. I recently met. A fascinating woman. I had thought that perhaps... By the stole, Jonathan, y you've met another vampire. I would appreciate an introduction, if that's the case. I found Harriet Jones. She's much the same old, embittered woman she was, only she's been made a scowl. Her transformation did not go well. Incredible. Well, why not bring her here? We could learn so much by studying her condition. It would be fascinating. Uh. I doubt that. She can barely move. Perhaps we could learn more about the degeneration of skulls. Perhaps. But she could also belong to a new species. We know so little of the laws that dictate vampire reproduction. Were there any studies made by your order on the subject? Uh, not that I'm aware of. I will transmit your discovery to the Brotherhood's primate. He will be delighted. Okay. A pleasure as... All right. So we could go and level up, which probably would be smart at this point because we have almost 5,000. Uh, but part of me is thinking, uh, I think I have something to turn in. Yeah, I need to re report this back. So I think I might go do that and then rest because that'll hopefully get me enough XP to get above 5,000. And then it's just one less thing, you know? So I'm going to go do that real quick. So I know there are enemies along the way. I'm just probably going to run by them. pretty well uh report to father whitaker it ain't you man get it uh oh crawl back to the hell that spawned you okay guess i'm not going that way okay Yep, it wouldn't let me go that way, so... Alright, we'll just go this way. Whatever. Alright, I think I... I think I know where I am. What? Good what evening, Mr. What are you doing here? I ask you the exact same. Uh... Tell me everything you know oh, about Camellia, a the mute florist. I do not believe in the afterlife, Doctor, but I'm almost convinced Camellia is an angel. She volunteered to... Wait, didn't I talk... I'll say I talked to him about this already. Nope. I, do... I forgot that that's like a multiple choice thing. Uh, what are you doing what now? What do you plan to do 
I'm not sure. Strange men came to see me after Torotea's death. Ah, she did die. Strange weapons and very odd stories. What kind of Lord? You believe them? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna skip through his crap a little bit. Are you living? And why not? Those who believe they'll be. What about your? My house is always open to any. Why are you? I remember the night you came here and. Ah. Goodbye. So yeah, uh, Patrice who died or Dorothy died. It looks like. Rip. Well. She's still way too high a level to me to deal with right now. Okay, there's those two. Father Whitaker, you're up here. I gotta report to you. Good evening, Mr. Whitaker. It's Father Whitaker, my son. So, are you still lost in your rational delusions? Uh, let's see here. Oh. Why did you send Samuel to the cemetery, Tobias? What did you see there? I sent him on a vision. A dream of a dreadful and laughing queen covered with blood. Sleeping with the dead and feeding on the fear of the dying. Hmm. A laughing queen dressed in blood. Tell me more. This epidemic is her feast. The announcement of her return. Her? Against her, science is no more than a child's toy. But who is she? She is the mother of harlots and abomination of the earth. She is Babylon, drunk on the blood of the saints. Tobias Whitaker, confess why you burnt those people alive. I have done what no one was ready to do. I will smite the flesh of the unclean to protect the righteous. Oh. You are just another heartless murderer, exploiting the epidemic to kill with impunity. No! No. The only way to contain the spread is to strike at the source itself. The proliferating sin. You're not the savior of London. You're just yeah, let's just let's just come over to this guy and just start yelling at him before no we turn in his quest. In this awful cleansing, Dr. Reed. I am only driven by the thousands of innocents I save each night. What? Actually, I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit. You sent a. Oh, okay. Good evening. It's fun. All right, and boop. I have found Samuel, your disciple. I am afraid I have bad news. I already expected the worst. He should already have come back. He is dead, isn't he? Yes, he is now. The epidemic. Samuel steadily made donations to our cause. He would have rewarded you himself if you'd found me in that awful cemetery. So give me 40 Please shillings. It's kind of low. Plus 150, though, for XP. So we're above 5,000 now. Uh, there is a... Oh, that's... um. What's her face? That's the nurse. I just don't want to fight her right now. She's still high level. Okay. I think it's about time we uh, rest to evolve. Wait. Its effectiveness has been proven by Is it over here? I can't believe oh. I'm doing this. It's locked, all right. Why is this still locked? That's super annoying. All right. Well, I guess we'll head back to the uh, hospital. That'll be where we level up then. All right, save my energy so I can run from these dudes. Go. Kill it. 
Excuse me. There we go. Boom. All right. Let's see if we can crap or let's analyze that. Okay, got that. Some serums that I don't really use. Uh, I don't think I picked up anything that my weapons can use. I guess I can look and see if I can dismantle anything. Uh. I'm going to dismantle this. I want the clove essence. Um, don't need those. Don't need those. Fine there. Work good on those. Pretty good on all that. Less miles. Oh, I didn't click on the. Is it upgrade? All right. Weapon. Nope. Uh. Off-handed thing. Nope. Okay. Cool. Good chat. All right. Let's let's level up a little bit. We gotta level up. Okay. My healing could be better. That is something I might want to look into. Or just have more health in general. I have five thousand, so I gotta think. I don't care about the bite. Um. Kind of cool. What is this one? You could have shed a vortex at your target's feet. Coming to light the shadows interrupt. I mean, it's kind of what I'm already doing with my one ability. Blood cauldron. You focus your blood Okay. How do I get this? I think that like having this would just be a good. It's a thousand. Um. Cannot be used too often. I'll think about it. Healing might be better to get another healing. Um, Test blood to heal yourself instantly. Gain additional boost in your health regen. Uh, trade instant health for greater regen. Probably go to the bottom line. Because uh, I really li I really like my Shadow Mist ability. Um, I could level that up. Increase range and damage. That would use up like all my stuff, though. I do need just better health as well. I, I, I might just need to upgrade. I'm, I'm going to use to upgrade my health. That's definitely something I want right now. Like, has to be done. Stamina upgrade is 600. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do that too. Um, I'll think about it for again. Increase my blood capacity. That, that's probably needed. I'm going to do that twice. Okay. Um, I kind of want to get one of these raged ones. I'm, I'm kind of thinking rage sounds pretty cool. I don't really care for Blood Cauldron. Uh, and I feel like Abyss is very similar to my Shadow Mist. I'm going to go Rage. Rage sounds pretty cool. There. So now we have an ability unlocked. This just boosts up the damage. I can't afford the more damage. Um, we could go more healing ability as well. You trade... More blood to heal yourself instantly and gain additional booth on your health regen. Or, so the cost would be, cost would go up quite a lot. Or just plus healing. I, I think I'd just rather have plus healing. Oh, I can't afford it. Okay, how about, can I upgrade this again? No, it's too expensive. I don't do bite. Granted, I built my character to be a stun and bite god. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I kind of really like my abilities I currently have. I really like them. <sighs> More health is probably not a terrible decision. I don't really use bite in combat anymore. 
Okay, maybe just more health in general. Okay, 500. Let's see if I can do anything with that. Can't do that. Uh, 600. How much were you? were a lot, yeah. 2,000. I mean, I could get... Only reason I went for bite is because it destroys most bosses. Oh. Yeah, I don't really use it, though. I mean, yeah, I think I'll just hold on to my stuff. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to that extra XP. I don't think I want to use it. All right. Confirm. So we did get a new ability and then upgraded our other abilities. Portrait of the Sad Saint. If you ever lived near the docks of the East End, you know, then you must know Sean Patrick Hampton is. And if not, you might have heard of him. His name is starting to spread throughout the entire capital. And the song it sings is one of hope. Sean is the humble founder of the Hampton, uh, Hampton Asylum, an establishment that he built with his own hands and convictions. The building, an abandoned warehouse gracefully donated by the Dawson family, then renovated and transformed to what it is now, the most famous asylum in London. The poor and hunger are welcome under his roof, and with them, he shares his food, his care, and his prayers. Sean Hampton comes from a background of misery, but the hardships of life didn't disfigure or maim his profound trust in the Lord. If anything, the faithful man gained an acute uh, empathy in exchange for the torments of poverty. His love for others is renowned throughout the docks. Rare are those who didn't witness Sean cry at the sight of the infirm veteran an orphan child or a sick mother that that how he gained his nickname the sad saint of the east end sean hampton is so respected that people stay in his shelter even after the sad saint contracted a mysterious disease which forces him to rest a lot and takes his meals away from his flock <laughs> while in some other parts of london people step back as soon as someone coughs in public men and women accept to, expect to eat and sleep in the hampton asylum it's the safest place in the East End docks. The building looks dirty. The stench around the place is awful for a delicate soul. But there is hope and love there. And the death toll has been low for, and stable for days. Uh, by the way, uh, 100% sanitized this region. Uh, let me tell you what happens if you spare it. Yeah, uh, you say you're going to go full powers when you do your next one. Nice. Major event merchants. Reactions have been per. Ooh, better it's deals and sales. Right, let's see how we did in this stuff. Holy crap! They're all dying! <laughs> what? Wow! They were all healthy! Wow! Fatigue, 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 fatigue. Holy crap. Okay, nothing changed there. He's still got a migraine, which I can't do anything about. Nothing changed there. Wow. That was crazy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need to make seven for fatigue. Holy crap. That's so crazy. I I can't believe that. Alright, is this fatigue? Okay, I have one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And one extra for good measure. Um, headache is something I'm going to make another one of. And let's make one for neuralgia. There we go. Perfect. Uh, he goes crazy and infects the two chicks outside. Cripples the district like your, uh, like your white chapel. Oh, wow. That's kind of crazy. If you spare him. You, I wouldn't have thought that. Huh. That's good to know. Now I... Okay, so... I guess I chose the right option on that one. Uh, well, I have a ton of people in this district I need to heal. Thankfully, it's this district and all the people are kind of... Like... Right next to each other. 
So I'm going to just head downstairs and find all the people that need uh, healing for fatigue. All right, we got one here. Good evening, Mr. L. Evening. Soldier, not real. All right. As long as don't feel. Goodbye for now. Feel disgust on every street. Okay. Healthy, healthy. All right. The guy guy's outside. Okay. You have fatigue. I'm quite busy, right? Do you need my? Assistance? Don't be ridiculous. Then you are lucky. I wish that. Thank you. Okay. And do you? Good evening. Good evening, Doctor. Do you require? Do you know? This well, it Goodbye. Just running around, giving people medicine. Not oh, this guy too. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, Is there any? Really? Unfortunately. Okay. Goodbye for now. Just another one. Healthy, recovering. All right, let me get the guy out back. That's crazy. Seven of them were just like, boom, all sick. Where'd he go? I'm sorry. Oh, hello. Hold on. Hold on, something's happening here. You don't mind if I search your pockets, do you, sir? You won't need any of these anyway. I'm not stealing from you, mister. I'm only redistributing your belongings to people who need them more than you. You see, no one has claimed your body, sir, so it would be such a shame to bury you with your valuables. I will not forget you, sir, and I thank you for your generous donation. I mean, part of me is like, well, yeah, he should probably give him to the, you know, the hospital. But the other part's like, well, it makes sense, because otherwise it's going to uh, get thrown away anyway. Um, let's see. Steals from the dead he is responsible for. Naughty, naughty man. God, he missed a lot. Hey, I, I, the part I, I focused on... Um, the part that I focused on was the social stuff, so... I mean, I still missed some, because I failed on some of them, so... See. Hey, buddy. Let's Agreed. have a little chat. How dare you steal from the dead, Rakesh? Is that what your pawnbrokers is really about? These people are dead, sir. What they possessed could be useful for the living. And I'm sure they would agree if they could speak. Uh, so respect for the dead. Dr. Swanson should be informed. Honestly, like, I, I get it. It makes sense. You may be right, but you'll go to jail if you're caught. If ever I have to go to jail, I'm sure I'll find a way to help people there, too. Like, I get it. Well, the proximity of the d Don't end that. Please show me. Of course. Let's see what he has. Oh, yeah, he's got stuff I don't want. Uh, oh, he sells opium. Hmm, the good good. Tomorrow, more bodies will arrive. You had to rush your ending to keep the docs from going hostile? Oh. Yeah, uh, this, yeah, this freaking hospital all of a sudden went, like, crazy. For me, they all of a sudden all were sick. Seven of them got sick. That's crazy. Okay, Milton's one of them. Okay, Nurse Brand again. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, Do you need any? I'm afraid. Archer thief. Goodbye, Milton. Okay. All right. Good evening. Good evening. Do you require? I will. 
She doesn't no. look me in the eye, apparently. Won't. Goodbye now. Good evening. No, I didn't want to talk to her. Good evening, Doctor. Goodbye now. I was just stealing stuff. All right, did we get everybody? Okay, those two weren't infected. Everyone is recovering. Okay, cool. Jeez. Um, that being said, thankfully it was all fatigue, and fatigue is really easy to treat. Convince. Oh, okay, I can do this now. Convince her to go back to Whitechapel. Let's track that. Make sure everything else is good. Yep. Okay, let's go find her. Convince her to go back to White. Wait, was she in the, uh, she's in the cemetery, didn't she? Yeah, she is. She didn't leave. Had to keep an eye on Whitechapel? Okay. I mean, I don't even have all the people there. Wait. How do I get there? Oh, this way. Um. Yeah, just, that was very odd. It seemed it must have been like a outbreak happened at the hospital of they are all working too hard so fatigue, but I don't know. I don't need the rats. Alright, we're just kind of running by. Ooh, they didn't see me. Hmm. That went surprisingly well. Okay, skulls are back. Where was she? Alright. Oh. What's up there? Oh, find a new collectible. All right. Okay. Is she still up here? Oh, there she is. She's just chilling. Many new graves. What are you doing? Are Go you back. All right, My name is Xiao Shun. This is the proper way to address someone in my country. I do apologize, Xiao Shun. Are you all right? Yes, I am. This is the only place where I can find some kind of serenity. Some way to remember my dear Matthew. Xiao Shun couldn't find the strength to leave her husband's tomb. Are you on your own? Do you have any friends or family who you could be with? I have family and friends, but I need to be here alone. One day maybe I'll go back to them, but not now. I need silence, and I need sadness. We're all grieving our own way. It's worse when you're alone. Sadness can be a terrible trap. Uh, it's... Sadness can be a terrible trap. It can entangle you and weaken your heart if you let it control your thoughts. Thank you for your sincere words, Dr. Reed. I sense you trying to help me, even if I don't quite understand why. Tell me how your husband died, Xiao Shun. Matthew died of the Spanish flu, like so many others. It's a mundane cause of death these days, but for me it meant the end of the world. At this time... Uh, Xiao Xu's husband died of a disease. There is so little medical science can do to defeat this terrible epidemic. I'm truly sorry. The worst thing is not his death, even if it tears me apart. The worst is not to have seen it coming. To have lost him so quickly, even before realizing it. Did he hide his condition from you? Matthew was a smiling type, a, a happy sort. Everything that I am not. Did he laugh at his death to come, or did he not realize what was going to happen? Hmm. I'll never know. The Spanish flu may be the worst disease mankind has ever faced. 
Why are you blaming yourself? You don't understand. I didn't know he was so sick. I didn't realize the gravity of his situation until it was too late. As harsh as this sounds. Xiao Xu feels guilty for not spotting her husband's condition. We are all equally vulnerable to this awful disease. It can take the strongest man in just a couple of days. I never said goodbye to Matthew. We never realized how bad it was. We laughed about it even. He always made me laugh. Now I don't have enough tears to shed. Aww. Um. You realize you can't stay here forever, don't you? Eventually, you'll have to leave the cemetery. Why? Why should I go? Since this is the only place I can find peace of mind. Uh, sorry if I vexed you. You're not dead. To be honest, I don't know. Please forgive me if I've upset you. We must all honor our departed loved ones in our own way. You sound like you're no stranger to the pain I feel. Let's just say I too have a good reason to visit cemeteries at night. Please accept my condolences for your loss then, Dr. Reed. Are you a doctor yourself? Is this why you feel so guilty for not saving your sick husband? No, I am not. But I still need to blame someone for Matthew's death. And who else, if not his wife, who did not see it coming? I'm a physician. One of the best in the country. But I was unable to save my own sister, Mary. She died in my arms. Why tell me this? Is it supposed to make me feel better? No. <laughs> but I felt I should share it with you. Since she is buried here, too. May I ask what caused the death of your sister? <laughs> you could Me? say she was also killed by a terrible disease. You could say. A disease I have sworn to fight and cure, no matter how long it takes. Thank you for sharing that with me, Dr. Reed. Maybe it's time we start to rebuild our lives, you and I. I don't want to tell her to go home yet. Oh, that's on. I don't care about the dispensary. You should go home now. I think you're right. Cemeteries are for the dead, for they need silence too. Thank you for your honesty and your wisdom, Dr. Reed. Thank you for your company, Xiao Shun. Take care on the way home. Maybe I'll see you again in Whitechapel. Goodbye for now. Oh, well, we got a lot of her stuff uh, done. Well, might as well ask. I heard I'm just going to let it go through. You know you can trust me. All right, investigation succeeded. Boom. All right, so that is done. So we still have to find somebody who can read the, bra blah, 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 blah. read the Braille alphabet, but that one hasn't popped up for me. Okay, the rest are done. We can't cure him yet till we hit. Wait. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. He's level three now. <gasps> Ha ha ha! I'm level three now. I can go for that guy. <gasps> rats. Wait, hold on. Let me just take one of the rats. I have this thirst oh. for blood. I can actually go in here this time. Nothing here. All right, we can talk to the guy. That, uh, we can talk to the guy that uh, is locked up in his house now. I think. I think he's the right level. Um. Kind of just go this way. There he is. Bunch of skulls in here, yeah. Nope. 
nullified. Oh. Holy. Out of energy, out of energy, out of energy. I didn't mean to do that. back there we go all right man it's time to cure your migraine good evening sir it's me again leave me alone I say whoever you are I haven't really been able to talk to this guy yet so it cannot be safe for a blind man to live here alone let me enter sir I swear, I mean you no harm. Well, a voice never lies, and yours clearly is the voice of a gentleman. <laughs> All right, Doctor, come on in. Yay, finally. How do you see the world these days? Now to run around his house and steal all his stuff. Uh, so far, stealing all his stuff isn't taking very long. There we go. <laughs> and then runs through the house and steals other stuff. Well, you had, like, nothing for me to steal. I'm kind of upset about it. Ooh, letter, though. Um, I'm not really going to read it, though. Lord of Swanberg. Uh, still blames herself for Mason Swanborough's accident. Ugh. All right, let's talk to you. So what is the name of my nocturnal visitor? I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. As I already explained to you, I'm inquiring about the epidemic. Dr. Reed, the eminent surgeon. My God, I'd never have expected a brilliant physician like you to knock on my door. You flatter me, sir. No, sir, I am flattered. Aww. I read all your work when I still had my sight. I loved it. I'm Mason Swanborough, by the way. All right, let's see. And what else have you learned about me, Mr. Swanborough? He's got a lot of talking Professor options. Well, in France, and that you invented a new blood transfusion method based on his work. Yes. Those were frustrating but exciting days. I loved it. Yes, the thrill of research and discovery. This is what drives people like us, Dr. Reed. Oh, how I envy you. Does someone take care of you in this isolated place? My sister Loretta and That explains why he didn't do anything about the skulls Every outside. The evening she comes by so we can talk and eat. Then she leaves and I stay. Hmm. Do you not appreciate your sister's visit? Loretta is the best and worst thing that happened to me. And I believe she could say the same thing about me. Where does your sister go? Well, let's just say she earns enough money for us both. What's so amusing about that? I won't hide the truth from you. Loretta sells a fake miracle elixir to the sick people of Whitechapel. Wow. So, Mason, you are the creative one in the Swanborough business, are you not? Yes, I am. I am the one who invented and improved the family recipe. And you do it all by yourself? Blind? and isolated in this laboratory. My eyes may be useless, but my brain is still sharp. Once a chemist, always a chemist. Okay, okay. Personal questions. Is your sister using you and your skills for her own profit? I've lost my sight, not my wits. Loretta couldn't manipulate me in a million years. Are you sure about that? You clearly depend on her. Let me be perfectly clear. I came up with the idea of the Swanborough Cordial. Loretta needs me more than I need her. All right, Mason, his last thing as a fraud. He was the one that came up with the idea in the first place. 
Why does your sister feel so guilty about what happened to you? Because she knows I'll never forgive what she did to me. You run an illegal business with someone you hate? I don't hate my sister. She looks after me, we have a good time. And I'm just not ready to forgive her. Okay. Before the do you, you know Braille. Wrong, sir. Do you need actually I I'm gonna give you yes. some medicine real quick. I can give you a little thank you, Doctor. Alright, now do you know Braille? Do you know Braille, Mr. Swanworth? I'm no expert, but I learned it in my spare time, yes. Why? I found a strange document entitled Cure for Blindness. It's written in Braille, so I thought perhaps it was yours. Really? Is that some kind of sick joke? Let me see. Here it is. This letter seems authentic. How could and you tell? It actually refers to an experimental cure for blindness. You have piqued my interest, Dr. Reed. Could it be of any use to you? No. This page is just a part of a larger diary. I'd be glad if you could find the other pages. Ah, there we go. All right. Goodbye, Mr. Swanworth. Thank you.